Understanding scenes and automations in Home Assistant opens up a whole new world of exciting features and functionality for your smart home. And once you've understood them, you wonder how you've gone and lived without them. Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Bite of Geek. So in this video, I'm going to go through uh, what are scenes and what are automations in Home Assistant, how you can set them up, uh, what you might go and use them for. Um, you know, I'll show you some of my examples uh, from my smart home. And um, basically, the really fun bit is when you join them together, uh, it just makes everything an awful lot easier for you. So let's start off with automations. What are automations? In its most simple form, it is something happening because of a trigger of some sort. So, uh, you know, I think when most people get a smart speaker, um, maybe they're going to bought them on, you know, kind of like Amazon Prime Day, something like that. And, you know, those uh, Echo devices, generally they come bundled with a light bulb, a smart light bulb. And that's because that's the, probably one of the most simple automations to go and do. Um, you know, you are asking the smart speaker to go and turn on the light. You know, you asking the smart speaker is the trigger and the action, the automation is the light being turned on. Now, uh, you can obviously in Home Assistant, you can script all of this, you know, so that you don't have to keep on talking to your smart speaker, uh, you know, to, to do all these things for you. But in addition to that, you can also add on uh, conditions for automations as well. So, um, you know, maybe you don't want uh, a light to turn on when it's daytime, you know, when there's there's plenty of light in the room, you know, you can check all those kinds of conditions as well. Obviously, you need the devices uh, to be able to do that within your smart home ecosystem, but that is entirely possible. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you a, um, you know, some of the automations that I've got set up. I'll actually just run through one uh, so that you can actually see how to go and kind of like configure something like that. And then we'll take a look at what scenes are. So I'm just going to show you a very simple automation. Basically, I have in this uh, room here, I have a motion sensor and I have a smart uh, bulb in the ceiling light. So I'm just going to set up a when there's motion detected, turn on that ceiling light. So create a new uh, automation. Uh, so my trigger is going to be that um, the the state of uh, this, that uh, the motion, and um, so you've got other properties here that you can set. In this example here, with this particular device, uh, you know I could set an automation where the the state goes from. Uh, motion detected to motion not detected, um, you know, for a period of time, you know, I could set something like that up. But because I'm just going to do a really simple one at the moment, this is basically just going to be that um, you know, some motion has been detected. I'm not going to set a time period for it. Um, I then have a condition. So, you know, motions detected and something else. So, just to start with, I'm just going to ignore that for the moment. It is optional, um, but my um, my uh, action, as it were, as I mentioned before, is that I'm going to uh, with the with the device. I'm going to uh, turn on my uh, office ceiling light, and um, you know I can I can set a brightness here if I, if I want to do that. So. Um, there you go, there is the automation. It's never been run. Um, I guess, you know, if I, uh, hopefully my, there you go. So um, what you can't see <laughs> is, uh, well, maybe it did get picked up on the camera, maybe a little slight adjustment there, but the light has come on. Um, the, the trace there, you can actually see that it, uh, it did actually run through trace timeline. So it turned on the office ceiling light and it, and it turned on there. Um, so, you know, that was just me waving at the motion center and it, and it came on. So a fairly simple, straightforward one to go and do. I've got two smart devices there. I've not had to speak to my smart speaker to go and do that. And um, basically, yeah, that's kind of like the building block of a, um, you know, a motion detection 
automation that you might go and set up. Now, um, I could now go and add in uh, a condition on this. So I've obviously I've still got the automation open and I can add in a uh, condition. And um, what I don't want is I don't want this trigger, uh, you know, this automation to kind of like keep on turning the light on or trying to turn the light on. Um, this is just an example. You, you could have other things in there as well. In my real automation, um, I actually, because this is a uh, an Acara um, motion sensor, it's got the uh, light sensor on it as well. So the automation that I actually use for this room, it actually detects how bright it is in the room. So if there is motion and it's dark, then it will turn the light on. If there's motion and it's light enough, then it won't turn the light on. So um, you can see how powerful that is. I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, but um, the, I guess um, we'll just add in here that, um, you know, the office, uh, Uh, that it's off and uh, we will save that. So, um, you know, if I was to uh, this one here and, um, you know, try and run that uh, and then look at the, uh, the traces for that, then um, you can actually see, you know, it, it didn't actually do anything there because the light is already on. So if I just show you that automation, that actually picks up the uh, value from the light sensor in the uh, the, the motion sensor. So uh, it's 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 an automation that's disabled at the moment, but basically uh, same kind of thing. So when the motion is detected uh, and the light is turned off, then basically what it does is it just checks the uh, the looks value from the motion um, from the motion sensor. To see whether it's less than 40 that's what I've deemed uh, the level that I want to check for you know the range uh, goes up into the hundred so you, you know you just pick a value that's suitable for what you need and um, and then it, it turns on so I'm actually just doing the uh, call in the service there to, to do that rather than the approach that I did before but that is you can see there. hopefully you know you can start to build upon the automation, um, you know, bring in other devices, other attributes from those devices, and you, you know, start to build out that functionality to create quite a complex automation once you get into it. So, what are scenes then? If automations are turning things on and off, what are scenes? Uh, well, I guess the way of explaining that is that you want your devices to be in almost kind of like a pre-configured state. So um, you know, maybe you have uh, in your dining area, you've got kind of like lights uh, that you want to come on. At, uh, maybe an example might be you're gonna have a date night uh, at home um, with your partner and you want mood lighting uh, when you're gonna sit down for your meal and you want some uh, music to come on and stuff like that. These are, it's a scene that you're setting up. So rather than, uh, you know, doing that via uh, an automation and, and things like that, you can specify a, uh, a date night scene that has everything set exactly how you want it. Um, another example might be, um, you know, that you've got a movie night and that when you start watching uh, a movie on your television, uh, you know, your lights that you've got on at that point in time, they all kind of reduce down to, uh, you know, the reduce the brightness level. Um, maybe it turns off the ring on your doorbell or something like that. You know, there are lots of different things that you could go and do there um, just to kind of like pre-configure everything for that scene that you are trying to set. So what I'll do now is I will show you uh, one of the scenes that I'm using right now in this video. Um, and uh, you can see how that is set up. It's, it seems a really, really straightforward. They're not as scary as maybe what um, you uh, think they are. Um, and um, you know, we'll look at one of the other scenes that I've got set up as well around a movie night as well, so you can see how I've got that configured as well. So I'm gonna set one up here. Um, now, 
what I've got here in the background, I've got a couple of uh, devices. I've got uh, an LED strip that goes across the back of the rack there, and I've got a ambient light. And um, you know, when I come in and set all of my gear up to be able to record videos like this, um, you know, I want those things over there to come on uh, as a scene. So I'm going to create that for you now. Uh, so we'll call it uh, YouTube Lighting, and uh, I think we've actually yeah. So we've got a YouTube uh, video there uh, icon, and this is going to be in the office. Um, so um, we will use uh, the rack LED, and we will also use the uh, ambient light. Now, you can see here that these are in uh, an on state, and, and this is the important thing with scenes. You set your devices to the state that you want them in uh, at that point in time, and then that is how the scene then is configured and set. So, you know, it will remember that these are set to the kind of like the bluey purple color, and it will remember what brightness these are set as. And, um, you know, when this scene is actioned again, they will always come back into that state. Okay, so that's that's the important thing to remember. If those devices are off when you do this, then effectively your scene's not going to do anything unless your scene is to turn stuff off. Uh, so uh, I just save that. Um, so if I just quickly go and uh, turn off those devices. I'm actually going to use my mobile phone uh, and home assistant on the mobile phone and I'm going to turn off those uh, those devices. So um, I've actually still got the ceiling light on. Okay so you can see those have turned off there. This, this one down here isn't, it's not a smart device um, but uh, you know not using the mobile um, back to the desktop and we've got this scene here and if I if I activate that you see they just come on they come back on in the state that they were in so really really simple straightforward and very very powerful uh, you know you if you've got loads of smart devices you can start to imagine how they can all be set up um, you know I have an example one here uh, movie lighting it just sets you know the brightness level for a group of devices which are the the lounge lights you know pretty straightforward um, you know that could be actioned on an automation from a press of a button you know I could have uh, you know something like an Akara smart button or an IKEA smart button something like that and um, you know I could press that what I actually have set up is something which joins the automation and the scenes together and that's what I'll go through next. So once we've now got our automations and our scenes uh, I guess the next bit really is uh, you know bringing those two together so that you can start to do some really exciting stuff so um, you know it's perfectly uh, acceptable for you to be able to trigger a scene from an automation so uh, you know you might have that um, you know it's a certain time of day and uh, you want your house to go into darkness you know you want all your lights to dim down uh, you know you want uh, your curtains if you've got you know automated curtains or blind you know blinds roller shades stuff like that you want those to close these can be all part of your scenes uh, and you can trigger that via an automation so I'm just going to show you how to do something like that right now so I've got one here, um, which is part, so it utilizes my movie, uh, movie night scene. Uh, so this is to dim the lights when watching movies. And basically um, what I've got is that when my TV source changes to Disney Plus, uh, or it changes to the Blu-ray player, uh, or it changes to Amazon Prime Video. So they're kind of like the three main sources of uh, you know movies things like that um, 
it as a condition. It verifies that the lights are actually on in the lounge. You know, I don't want it to start doing stuff if the lights aren't on. And then what it does then is it executes, effectively calls the scene that I set up earlier on that I showed you earlier on, and it changed the uh, changes the lighting in that room um, really quite low, uh, so that you know when we are watching a movie. It is really, really, uh, you know, cinematic as it were. Now, um, you can build that out. So, you know, if your television, um, you know, has functionality that you can detect where things are paused, uh, you know, you could have it, uh, you know, bring the lighting back up again. Uh, if you have a smart doorbell and somebody rings that doorbell, uh, you could uh, go and pause your TV, uh, whatever it's doing. You can have that scene. Uh, you know, another scene that brings the lighting back up and then, um, you know, you could have your uh, movies restart then on probably, you know, you go and use something like a, um, you know, a smart switch to go and do that. But uh, you can get the idea, you know, it's quite powerful, uh, you know, when you start to join these things together, um, you know, you can bring in all these other devices that you've got and start to connect it all up and create that, that overall scene uh, for your house. So there you go, that is automations and scenes. Obviously, there's an awful lot more you can do. Hopefully that gives you a bit of an appetite to go and look into that a bit more yourselves. Uh, you know, gives you a few ideas. Obviously, um, you know, any questions, drop them down below in the comments. You know, I'll try and answer those for you. Uh, you know, likewise, you know, what you got set up on your scenes uh, and automations anything funky you know that you know other people might be interested in share them down below in the comments um, but I'd love to know what your thoughts were on the video uh, you know do you find this kind of stuff useful let me know down below in the comments um, if you've enjoyed the video then don't forget to uh, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel it really does help the engagement on the channel and the video and YouTube's algorithms all that kind of stuff um, but as always Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.